Mike, what are three books that every man should read and you can only pick three books? Oh, this is like asking what if you can only do one exercise in the gym, deadlift, squat, but I'm going to take it on and here's why. It's fun. Three books. Gorilla Mindset by yours truly, which you can't buy it, sorry. Two, James Altucher, Choose Yourself. Three, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. Here's why those three books. Mindset, 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 mindset. If you get in the right frame of mind, then you're not going to read three books. You're going to read 3,000. Why Choose Yourself with James Altucher? James Altucher is like the good guy, danger and play. Um, imagine me with clean shaven, a nice person who doesn't cuss. And I'm nice, but I'm not inclusive. That's where James and I differ the most. He's very inclusive. He wants everybody to feel the love. I am exclusive. I only talk to a certain type of person, to a certain demographic, and that's great. What did I learn from Choose Yourself? Choose Yourself isn't about being selfish or being an asshole. It's about a frame of mind which is if you're good looking, you don't walk around waiting for somebody to discover you to be a model. If you have something to say, you don't submit a bunch of entries to the Atlantic and hope to God, maybe they'll publish me, maybe I'll be discovered, maybe this person's going to see me and, and then my whole life will be great. You got to choose yourself. You got to promote yourself. You got to hustle. If you want to write a book, you fucking write a book and you don't ask for permission. You don't ask anybody for permission. You just fucking do it. Well, and that you just fucking do a thing is more gorilla mindset than, than true yourself. Um, James is a funny guy because he has a funny relationship with me. He said on his podcast, there's a guy sort of picking on me because he says he has more podcast ratings than I have. And I don't know why he's being mean. And the answer is, when you look like me, you got to be careful because people think you're being mean. But James read the post, obviously, and the post was very nice. The post was saying, James, I've... Like, I admire you. I've chosen myself. I wanted to do a podcast that I wanted to fucking kick ass and be popular. And guess what? I don't have James's distribution network. I don't have his network of personal people. I don't, what I ha I don't have what I call the, the podcast circle jerk. Oh, Tim Ferriss come on my side and this guy will come on my side. And everybody goes on their little podcast and they circle jerk each other to get more listens. I don't have any of that. I just have me and I'll show you what else I have. This, a fucking $60 microphone and a MacBook. And this is how I do my podcast. And in terms of engagement, I still have more um, ratings than James. He's catching up and he now has more reviews. But think about it. I'm just a regular guy with a $60 microphone with GarageBand, no media distribution network, and I'm running neck and neck with James. And that's a testament to the power of choose yourself. I've chosen myself. And you got to start choosing yourself. Don't wait for anybody to discover you. Nobody's going to discover you. If you want to do something, you got to choose yourself. You got to go out and do it. And there's countless examples of people on YouTube who have done it, who are big, big timers now. And they were big time before. And it's not like they read James's book and then they, you know, got big. But they just said, I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to self publish. I'm going to have my own podcast, I'm going to have my own channel, I'm going to have my own site, I'm going to have my own books, I'm going to have my own everything. And that's the power of choosing yourself. The last book, How to Start Worrying and Start Living, uh, I want to keep this video under five minutes. It's already almost at four, so I'm going to be real brief. Dale Carnegie wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People. How to Stop Worrying and Start Living is better. It's practical. It's a mindset-based book, but it's also a very practical step-by-step -step guide to quit worrying. You lose your job. You lose your relationship. How do you deal with the stress of a breakup? And everything that he says works. For example, how do you deal with the stress of a breakup? A buddy of mine is going through a breakup and he's on Twitter. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Guys, this is so hard. God. That's not how you get over a breakup. How you get over a breakup is you get fucking busy. You don't get busy feeling sorry for yourself and fucking crying on the internet and looking for sympathy. You go out and you say, okay, I'm sad. I'll write poetry. That's what I would do. If I was depressed over a girl, man, I would be writing poetry and it might suck, but it would keep me busy and I would channel my emotions in an artistic endeavor. So there you go. Gorilla Mindset. Choose yourself. How to stop worrying and start living. Until next time, this is Mike.